Alan Edgehead here, and welcome to a quick Dragon Ball Xenoverse Dragon Ball Guide. If you've ever played a Dragon Ball Z game, you know the Dragon Balls are highly sought after items for one reason or another. Usually to summon Shinron to gain money, moves, characters, and equipment, stuff like that. Dragon Ball Xenoverse is no different. So with this video, I'm going to show you uh, the quickest way to get the Dragon Balls, and then we're going to summon Shinron. So I already have six Dragon Balls, so I only need to do this one more time. So you need to be in the Time Machine Station, and you need to do a parallel quest. It's a Ginyu Force parallel quest, so you'll probably need to have played up until at least the Captain Ginyu Saga and have beaten it. It's three-star, number 12, Fierce Battle, Ginyu Force. I always pick Frieza for this because he has funny conversations with the Ginyu Force as they shout out their poses. So, once you jump into the mission, you're going to be on the lookout for a Time Patroller in the background. Battling a Time Patroller is the key to getting the Dragon Balls. So here we are. Fierce Battle Ginyu Force. Defeat all the Ginyu Force members. So... You want to boot up your scouter, and there's nothing there. So it could end up taking a couple of resets to get a time patroller to show up in the background. Usually you could just see him standing there, but bringing up the scouter is just a way to ensure that there's a guy there because it'll target him. And sometimes there's even items along the way, so you could pick up an item on the way to that time patroller. there's an item, so I will see you back when there's a time patroller here. And after enough hitting retry, eventually you'll see a time patroller in the background. You can see him there. I just like using the scouter anyway because there might be an item along the way in front of this building on the way to him. But once the time patroller is there, fly up to him. Or her. It could be a girl. Hey. You've been challenged by a time patroller in training. Do you accept? Yes. So, he'll challenge you to a battle. You'll fight it. And what you want to do is KO it pretty quick. Sometimes they're weak. Sometimes they're super strong. This guy seems to be super weak. But just because you beat the Time Patroller doesn't mean you're going to get the Dragon Ball. But this is how you get the Dragon Balls. You could end up getting two material items. So after you defeat the guy, you get a material item. And then the next thing should say you get a key item. But I unfortunately got two material items. So I will see you back after I defeat another Time Patroller to show you that you can get Dragon Balls. So I'll be back again. And it seems to be RNG that makes Time Patrollers show up, or whether or not they'll actually dro drop Dragon Balls like he finally just did. So once it says you got a key item, you can uh, just complete the rest of the mission. And for the sake of time, I'm not going to make you watch me fight Goldo, Raccoon, and then Jason Birder, and then Ginyu. So I'll cut to me defeating Ginyu and collecting the Dragon Ball and then we can summon Shinron so I'll see you back then this will be a battle like none other before I never thought I'd see the day when I would actually have to show my true power Ginyu Force Ginyu I can never get you. I know you 
And Captain Ginyu is defeated. So after we the beat the mission, I know you've got more than that. We see that we have the Dragon Ball. So now we have all the Dragon Balls, and you can do that pretty fast. You start with 15 minutes. I had about eight minutes left, or something. You can have a lot more time left if you. Don't walk around and pick up all the stray items like I do. But, once you get all the Dragon Balls, you're going to want to walk to the Plaza of Time, which is going to be a nice, hefty walk from where we're at. Because we want to walk to that Shinron pedestal where we put the Dragon Balls, and we will... Summon Shinron. You have the seven Dragon Balls. Would you like to summon Shinron? Yes. Say your wish. So Shinron I'll grants you us one, wish, one, ask for anything. one of several, several things. The first one is, I want money, which gives us 500,000 zenny, if you want to go What's for that one. Matter? If you want a rare item, you can get Goku's Hurry power pole I accessory. Wish. You want, uh... To dress up, you get uh, the Journey to the West costume. You could do it over and over again and get the complete set. If you want to get stronger, it gives you some rare items that make you stronger and stuff like that. I don't know the exact name of the items. You want to grow, you get the necessary experience to reach your next level on your creative character. If you want a new ultimate attack, you get one of several new ultimate attacks. Same thing for the supers, you get one of several new supers that you don't have. You want more usable characters. Um... Every time you summon the dragon, you can do this over. There's three characters that you can unlock. In order, the first time you summon Shinron and you wish for more character characters, you get Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. The second time, you'll get Super Android 17. And the third time, you'll get Omega Shinron. And uh, I want to give... Uh, I want a second chance at life. Let you uh, reset your parameters to... Uh, redistribute your points on your created character and you want to be drop dead gorgeous let you change your created character's looks the way he looks so I'm going to go with I want more usable characters I because I want run. characters I want Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 I have granted your wish. so that's the guide to getting the Dragon Balls and summoning Shinron and all that I hope this helps you out, and I'm Alan Edgehead, and I will see you later.